<laughs> Can we rephrase this? Hang on, look, you're for you. <laughs> what are you doing? Removing petroleum jelly. <laughs> Find afterwards, she's got lovely soft hands. <laughs> uh, you take the fibre all the way around the tray as many times as you can. So, this monitors the bend radius, so you don't go past the minimum bend radius. And then you put a protection sleeve here where you splice them. Right. And then where's the, the kettle? Is it working? Yeah. What's happening with the cable now? You're just stripping the cable. So both cables are coming in through the ducting in the corner of the shed here, and the fibre is being stripped to put the end things on. The white floaty things are high tensile filler and the rigid plastic thing is the sheet that the fibre's in. So he's taking all the protection off. And inside that... So what you've got there is a loose tube. In the loose tube, it's gel filled. And then you've got your fibres. The tube is very rigid, if you bend it more than a certain angle, it will snap the fibres. So that comes off. There are 12 fibres, you probably can't see them now, and he's going to clean the gel off them now, like he did with the previous one. It's plastered as a shark. It's bit broken wax. It's only thin. You're legally obliged to get rid of it properly. Oh, so it goes in that little box there. Cover on your finger. Graze past it with a tile. And then take it off so it's a clear fibre. So much for my helper, eh? <laughs> John's gone back to the car for his phone to take a photograph with. So now we're testing the fibre before we couple it up to make sure it hasn't been damaged when it was being laid. Proper curse to cube, but about 702 metres. From one property to another. Yeah. Right, so the fibre's going through the little uh, hole into the box. Dave's putting the spare fibre in a coil into the box. John's eating Dave's rice pudding. I've been already eating his own. Don't put that on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm going to get in trouble. I don't know if I was standing back like in the day, it didn't work. Yeah. So, soak the tissue in isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> What's that? To cleave it, cuts the fibre nice and square. What's that for? Um, when you strip off the primary coating, it creates a weak point when you splice them together. Primary coating is there really for flexibility and strength. That's the coating. It's 
for any strip wrap you create a weak point and by putting the spice protection sleeve on um, it's a heat shrinkable sleeve so the epoxy resin steel bar shrinks around it Expensive tissues. Yeah. How much are there? There's a penny though, so I've sacrificed a penny. Really. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a joke from YouTube. Got a great picture at home when I was in India. <laughs> <laughs> there, an Indian western banana leaf. <laughs> 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 He's been <laughs> everywhere now. <laughs> Just telling us before, he did this uh, in uh, the Falklands, and he's done it at the top of a pole. Yeah. Dave's done it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's a West Falklands. Yeah. More bars.